vlog first of all thank you so so much for all your gorgeous lovely comments and messages and things about my vlogiversary it made me cry all over again um and it was a really really special one to put out so thank you very very much for all that love um Today I'm doing something completely different because I'm going to be honest with you, I'm just not finding the time to sew and do vlogging at the moment and I've got so many things going on with music. We are basically finishing an album at the moment and we've done our first five songs and they're being the final thing is being recorded tonight and then it's going to the mixer tomorrow because we want to have five songs ready to pass on to our team and then get kind of people excited about the rest of the album um which we're also raising money for and i might as well mention this now because i would love you guys to get involved if you like my music as well then i'm doing a um fundraising campaign for making the rest of the album at patreon.com slash gabby young and you can hear all the new songs there and it's a really lovely community so um if you want to get involved in that as well that would be amazing uh, but apart from that i've got lots of gigs coming up because we're doing a whole new sound and we've changed quite a lot as a band and my hair's no longer this huge red mess it's now short and blue um i'm changing my look a lot as well and that's something that i'm really excited about actually as well because like david bowie i change with the wind um and uh that's something that's always been a part of my my music so my aesthetic has always been really important um and something that i have to do and make sure that i've done in the next three days is make some stage outfits so i've got my big london show coming up on tuesday um and then on friday i've got the dressmakers ball and both of them i've planned outfits for months and months and months and now it's like oh my gosh there's a week i really really need to actually make them um so i thought you could come on that journey with me and i'm not going to show you the actual making part because to be honest i'm just going to have to knuckle down and stephen's going to help me and we're just gonna uh do a whole day of it this weekend where we basically make two outfits hopefully um but i'm gonna take you on the bit where i kind of find the bits and pieces and try and work out what i want to do so we're in the summer house and i'm looking through lots of amazing bits and pieces and i thought you could just kind of you know join me on that little trip and i'm shopping my stash for stage outfits and uh I guess to give you an idea of what I've got in mind, um, I've always been very theatrical on stage and I normally wear kind of big dresses and for 10 years I've been known as circus swing so I always wore a lot of really kind of circusy um, stripes, florals, uh, all very kind of extravagant but from that real costumey side and now I'm really interested to kind of more explore the fashion-y side of the theatrical. So really high-end, think McQueen, Westwood, um, Vivian Westwood, that is. Um, uh, Jerry Mugler, and then people like um, Gavin Pugh, and uh, I can't think of anyone else at the moment. And there really aren't patterns, there aren't sewing patterns for what I have in mind. I have looked and there's kind of elements of it, but what I've got in mind is even bigger and for instance I've just ordered 10 meters of wire and also EL wire which is light up wire so that's what's going to go into my next stage outfit and there aren't sewing patterns for things like that um, but I do need trimmings and I do need some kind of inspiration for what I've got in the summer house for what I'm going to make and yeah so that's what I'm up to today and I hope you enjoy it because it's basically getting a bit of a nosy around my summer house and I haven't quite sorted it all out in here yet so it is a bit of a mess I'm sorry um so no time for the tour yet but all of that will come in good time and let's just have a rummage okay so you're gonna have to ignore the mess because I am still sorting things out and tidying up and there's leads and there's scissors everywhere these are some drawers that I just got from a local tip and we've already started filling them when I say we I mean I I don't know why I always say we and there's zips and bias binding and ribbons and fastenings and elastic there's all sorts of trimmings and lace so that's a good start um there might be some stuff in here in particular in the trimmings like this 
for instance this could be good that could be very good so I might put that in my bag of tricks um, and I'll start going through that properly later but I just wanted to give you an overview of the places I'm looking so this is lace trimmings there's so much beautiful lace in there and in particular kind of embroidered um, beaded lace as well so that will be amazing for some applique stuff I have in mind and then these three guys um, with their labels falling off are trimmings um, boxes so should we start by looking through them basically it's got it's called a caboodle they've stopped selling them and I'm so annoyed about that because they really really are good um, but it's got all these compartments up top so let me try and get into the top it's not a one-handed job at all <gasps> okay I'm in I'm in uh, all these compartments up top um, which I have put with various pieces of ribbon and fringing um i am definitely going to do some fringing i want to do a kind of series of dresses that are all about fringing um so that will be important and what else have we got in here that could be interesting mm, nothing's really jumping out at me at the moment because i want big 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 things so nothing's that big in here so we'll close that up um, you just kind of clip it back in and then the next layer oh wow that just fell off yay <laughs> I'll sort that out later in the next layer is just kind of space so this oh I just love it not at all helpful for the projects I'm doing at the moment um, for the stage costumes this is looking more like it uh, no idea what it actually is meant to be but I'm already thinking like a strap with that as the bottom of the strap so say if it was kind of a sequined dress or something sorry the heating's just turned on very loudly um, oh, I should turn it off but it's quite cold I uh, also have these now I got these originally because I wanted to make one of those massive um, DIY uh, lampshades that you paper mache basically doilies over a big balloon pop the balloon and there's your light shade but I didn't do that and that was years and years and years ago so there's definitely possibilities with this and I'm already thinking of a really cool big skirt like ballet style pancake tutu with this as the top that could be really cool just one tassel but it is calling to me hello Gabby Oh no, please take me. Oh, okay. And uh, so these feathers are kind of looking a bit sorry for themselves, but they're definitely going to come in very handy because I love some feathers. Feathers, feathers, feathers. I'm definitely seeing feathers in my future, but I don't think quite yet. So I'm going to leave them there. Okay, trimmings too. This is looking definitely more like it. We've got more fringing love the fringing oh there's something going on inside i don't know if that's just tangled or if that's part of it <laughs> i think it's just tangled but i also love these they could be really interesting or maybe like a white background mm -hmm. yeah that could be really good so they're definitely coming out but fringing I'm looking for in a big way so my voice just cracked over that excitement um, mm, oh rope that looks good that looks very good it's gold and what have we got here this could also be quite good as well this gold um, thin ribbon well no 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 now I'm getting carried away I don't need that okay let's see what's underneath I didn't break it yay Oh, this looks very interesting. So, we've got some serious um, trimmings going on here. That is really cool. Very Missoni, don't you think? Very Missoni. Um, it's like basically uh, Rick Rack. Is it called Rick Rack? Yeah, I think it's called Rick Rack. Huh, I can't remember. Um, lace panel. 
not for this time but those together look amazing so that could be quite interesting uh, more lace more lace more lace um i think twill tape yeah i think that's twill tape more lace that's amazing it's again a kind of a cord but it's got this metallic going through it and blue yes yes you are going in the pile um <clears throat> this also is calling to me because the next dress i want to make is all sorts of blues so that looks incredible yes you are coming there's not very much which is a shame but maybe enough to make kind of a cool collar or a headpiece hmm okay this what's this what are you yeah oh wow oh guys look at this oh my gosh <gasps> so that's already given me an idea for a whole new dress where this is the neck piece and then maybe just a white top but then with a massive gold skirt that would be amazing okay yeah you're coming with me um as are you even though you're tiny oh there's only more of that that's brilliant that's totally brilliant but hardly any of it um and then there's also that's not very me at the moment but i say at the moment because i change a lot <laughs> um it's kind of the wrong colors but again that could be good um i think i'm just going to call this vlog searching through the treasure troves because it is basically it feels like that okay right you're out of there anything in your side panels laces like actual shoelaces oh i didn't remember they were here i want to do neon shoelaces on my boots <laughs> okay right well they might come back out and there's nothing in there right next one okay trimming three let's see what you have for me oh lots of beautiful things gold fringing yes please um the blue could also be very good because i think this blue and gold dress i have in mind that could be amazing for oh there's the other tassel you know the tassel that talked to me earlier there's its friend hello yay um there's also this tassel i don't know what i could do with that but it's really cool okay well you go there and then more fringing so you're coming out to join the fringing world um no tassel you're not coming sorry um these are also tassels whilst we're talking about them but they're like fringed black tassels that's awesome so you guys come with me <laughs> I feel like I'm doing some kind of like a selection process and because I anim anima for loss no I can never say that word anamorphalize everything um I just think these have feelings and that they're going oh but I I really wanted to go with you but you know I know people might think I'm a bit crazy as well okay and then the next section in here ah, i hoped you might be boning very important because i want to make a hoop skirt loads of it brilliant 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 um these bottom drawers are full of things that i have um, straight away earmarked for stage wear this in particular is going to definitely come into my second dress for the dressmaker's ball um these are silks, beautifully folded. I'm just so good at folding stuff. Yeah, this, this drawer is very important. So um, this is full of um, really beautiful Jupion um, silks. And the dress that I'm about to make is going to use pretty much all of these because it's layers of different blues with then um, wired hems so that they kind of bend round to be like waves. I'm going to just kind of give you little tidbits of what I want to make but it might end up not being that because they might be a lot harder 
to make than I thought, but I'm gonna bring all these with me. Now this, I think it's the main fabric I've been looking for actually. Let's get that. Look at it, it's iridescent. I mean, it's just mermaid fabric. I don't know what it is, um, but it's got a good structure to it. So with a wire hem, this could work really well. So yeah, so that's definitely coming and all of this. When I say coming, I just mean into the house, by the way, I should probably explain that. Um, into the house because that's where I will be doing all this work. Okay, so we've got some fabrics now. Okay, other things I've got to show you is the fabric order that just arrived. So uh, we have these two colours of uh, what I think was described as spiderweb tulle. So it kind of, wow, it looks amazing on camera. It's, can you see if I hold it to the light? It's like a spider web. Um, I've got that in gold and that in blue and they are both beautiful. And then I've got uh, just normal sparkly tulle. It's more netting actually, because it's not tulle, it's not soft, it's, it's hard, it's like stiff. Um, so white sparkles and gold sparkles. And then this stuff, I just couldn't resist it. It's amazing, it's like proper, wiry netting and it's got this amazing iridescent white sparkliness this is sure to be in uh, a stage dress very soon if not the next one so that's what i got um in the post recently and uh it's all kind of coming together quite nicely i think they're all kind of looking like they're all going to go together well don't know how yet but we'll work that out uh, these are earmarked for stage wear, so I've got this amazing, this is actually left over from a um, bridesmaid's dress that I made. It's like a sparkly black uh, and gold, so it's on a stretch as well, so that could be really cool, I think. If I make um, a long sleeved bodysuit with black tassels going down the arms and then applique that kind of, you know, around your chest and neck area so nothing's on show that could be amazing um also got this stuff which is so interesting it's kind of like a paper um but i think that as a big skirt could be really cool because again it's got that iridescentness maybe these guys will go well together i don't know i don't know no maybe not uh more like sparkly like a sparkly ponty um, but again, I thought that could be quite cool as like a bodysuit top to then a big colourful skirt or something. And then this. Uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but it's stretchy and it's kind of got beads and stuff on it. Can you see that? Wait. Yeah, there. Yeah. So they're all really good. Not for now, but they're really good. And also um, my velvet's up here. So... There's this amazing gold and um, silver velvet and then this silver stripe black velvet. But I don't think I'll be wearing them uh, spring, summer. I think these are gonna be for my winter tours. Anyway, this is a very, very exciting box in here. So now we're looking at this stuff. And um, I told you I had a lot to go through. Um, okay, so pleather don't think one needs you um these are the kind of things i'm looking for this is the kind of stuff i'm going to be bringing out because uh it just would look amazing i just think that's incredible so actually now i want that to be part of that bodysuit that i just imagined oh so beautiful but yeah you're definitely coming in the bag okay now these were something that i found in a plastic bag of this um stash that i got and I was really excited by them and they are definitely going to become part of the stage outfit soon. They're corsets, beautiful, beautiful corsets. They're not finished yet, so I get to finish them off. But what a great start. So the moment I saw this, I just thought I've got to make a really big tulle skirt of these kind of colors um, and join it to it. And that will be absolutely stunning. So, uh, not for now, but I just wanted to show you. And also this one, even more theatrical. I mean, this, these look like ballet costumes. Well, this one does anyway, to me. Um, 
again yeah that's going to be a stage outfit soon um i do have a lot of gigs by the way so it's good that i have a lot of things to make um because i kind of don't really like to repeat what i wear especially for big shows i try not to repeat it again but maybe i can make it into something else this is I guess a corset, but I don't quite get how it works. Does anyone else? Oh, upside down! <laughs> yeah, I obviously knew that. Um, that's really cool. That's just beautiful. But also I can just study how he made them and, you know, how he did the boning. And uh, So I'm very, very lucky to have samples like this to work off. I really, really am. Um, what else is in here? We've got fur not gonna need fur at the moment too hot for fur okay said so this was the good stuff this is amazing this is just a dress in itself oh how well do they go together <gasps> that's amazing <laughs> sorry i make very strange noises sometimes um yeah i don't know how that works and what i've got planned i think that will just distract me <gasps> okay this is good 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 we've got gold 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 so um all the gold trimmings are going to come with me got things like this which would be amazing for applique oh look at this that's a strap isn't it look at that that's so cool there's quite a lot of it so i'm just going to bundle together all this gold stuff um because yeah there's there's all, all good things in there um this is quite ratty but again it's gold fringing so i can't say no to that i love this look at that actually this i got um free at a sewing meetup in a goodie bag and everyone was like i don't know what i would do with that and i think i got everyone's because <laughs> i was like i do <laughs> pass it to me <laughs> uh for applique that's absolutely stunning um, there's more kind of lace stuff in here. I'm not going to need it at the moment, but it's beautiful. Oh, there's loads of lace in there. Okay. And I am definitely going to make something with pom-poms at some point. I was thinking just a little, um, uh, bolero, a little cropped jacket that's just pom-poms, which I used to have. And, um, very, very sad story that I'll quickly tell you that I once did my longest tour of all time it was three months long it went to america japan australia like all these amazing places and um picked up so much cool stuff that people made for me and that i got uh, vintage shops and stuff and lost all my luggage on the way home in america i don't know what happened but it ended up with someone else or you know it never got back to me so i'm still depressed about it to be honest i think i always will be but i had a pom-pom jacket and i just need to remake it and get over it i need to remake it these just look like a bunch of grapes <laughs> i mean a lot of this is not going to be used it's just to have loads of choice to kind of make my vision come true this is amazing absolutely amazing just even as a cuff or something like in a a silky dress with that as a cuff oh wow um yeah i'm getting distracted i'm getting very distracted now so yeah so i feel like i've got more than enough to be getting on with and i should really stop because i'm just getting carried away and distracted from the ideas that i had when i came in here and realizing how messy my summer house is is really distracting me as well and i just want to stop and tidy but I've really got to crack on um, and uh, I'm going to put this all in a bag and uh, I just can't wait for you to see what actually comes from this and I will, when I finish them, I will do another vlog or will at least put it in a vlog at some point so that you can see it in the flesh and I really hope it works and uh, I might also film something about me sewing EL wire because look it up if you don't know what it is light up wire it's amazing and there's special piping of it so you can sew it in without damaging it um, so yeah gonna be doing a lot of that over the next couple of weeks so thank you very very much i hope you enjoyed it i know it was a completely random different video i felt guilty that i didn't really have a vlog for you this week and i thought well i'm about to go and have fun rummaging in the summer house and maybe you'd like to too so <laughs> i'll see you for a more normal vlog next week take care